Good morning. We are headed out to a community yard sale this morning and it is 6.30 and I'm meeting with a friend and I hope I find lots of good things. I will keep you informed. Stay tuned. I'm Lynn from Finds of Yesterday. If you're new to our channel, I'm a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And this video is about what we found this weekend to resell. Follow along and see if there's anything that maybe you can find in your neighborhood and resell for good money. We went to this neighborhood sale that had a, probably about 12 different sales at it. And they were not all that great, but we did find a couple things that might be really good sellers. So um, this first one we're at, just a bunch of miscellaneous things. They didn't hardly have a whole lot of adult clothes. They had mostly kids clothes and some adult shoes, which I didn't find a whole lot of shoes. Um, the stuff that they were selling tended to be things that needed a little bit of um, work or had a little wear to them. This little thing right here, it's a speaker, but I couldn't find a name brand on it. So I, I just wasn't sure and I didn't have time to look it up, so I set it back down. And again, a lot of stuffed animals and kids' clothing, kids' toys, bicycle helmets, which I never had luck with. DVDs, VHSs were popular, and some kitchen wear that I think every one of us has. This Mario Brothers game controller I picked up. I looked at it. It didn't have a price on it. I asked her how much it was, and she said she bought it brand new at Walmart, and it was $18, so she would sell it to me for 3 And these books were kids' books. And they're usually not worth a whole lot. So I didn't get the Mario Brothers uh, controller. This next yard sale had a lot of interesting vintage items. I was going slow at the sale because there's so much. And as I was listening to the lady talk, I found out that she sells on eBay. So and she's moving, so this was her overstock that she had to get rid of. Them little pheasant cups I just loved. I just debated about it. There's some luster wear. And some napkin ring holders. I don't have luck with them. I don't think anybody sets a nice table nowadays. I shouldn't say anybody. Many people don't. This one had some interesting marks on it, which I couldn't get into focus at first, and finally it focused, and I don't recognize it, and I would have had to look it up and search it, so I was I just set it back down. This bird was vintage, it was cute, but I could not read the name on the bottom. Still can't read it. But this lady had the most this was the best sale we went to and these greeting cards i fell in love with even though they're mostly get well cards but these little ones were so adorable they had like a transparent parchment to them and i think somebody would just love them all of them ended up being goodwill good what get well not goodwill get well. I ended up picking up this box, even though it didn't have a price on it. I held on to that while I was looking around. And again, I said, I, like I said, I was going very slow. There was a real pretty iridescent bowl back there. The glassware just doesn't sell as much. Now, I looked at these black mugs. Um, I think they're garnet. They're red. They're really red. 
but I could not see the red in them, even when I held it up to the sun. And we were in a garage, so I could have brought it outside, but I didn't. I just passed them up. And this little gold teacup saucer set was just adorable. And it was... Schweizer is German, I'm pretty sure, which I still can't read it. Zweibacher. And this little green dog planter was adorable, but and I thought for sure it was going to have a name to it, but it didn't. It was plain. It looked like a little England Demitas saucer or tray. They look like some depression plates that I just pass up because it seems like there's so much of depression glass out there. And she had a lot of extra stuff like toys. And then I ran across these two vintage purses. They were beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. She had $10 a piece on them. She knew what she had, so it was... Not, I was not able to get good prices on hardly anything. Not saying that these aren't worth ten dollars, I just don't know what I could get for them. Maybe 20 and then ten dollars wasn't worth it to me. And this, I was looking at the tag to see if it was silk or not, and I don't think it was. So I ended up passing this up. And then she also had the Super Mario Brothers 3, which probably would have been gone before I got there, but she had $125 on this old Nintendo set, and it included that gun on top, and it included all these Nintendo games and everything. I even had a guy asking about them while I was there. And she wouldn't sell them separate. She said she had them on eBay for uh, a, as a lot. And this was a really cute Marilyn Monroe poster. China is hard as a hard sell. And I was trying to figure out what this was. Owlet. I don't still don't know what it was. The little clown there with the big red nose I thought was cute. But she had $20 on it. I didn't even want to look it up. And she had different fabrics and tablecloths. This was an old vintage plastic tablecloth. Table cloth. And this looked like a nativity scene on our old vintage linen. I could have probably spent more time in the linens, but I don't know enough about linens to know what's going to sell. This, I had a scarf very similar to this that I sold. And I think it was only $12 or so, and this did not have a price on it. So it had some snags, and it looked like it was worn quite a bit. Lots of different shoes, but I did not see any name brand or anything worth looking into. St. Louis Ram stuff nobody wants. And then this was pretty interesting. This bottle is covered with leather. Like a special made piece. And I couldn't figure out what these were, but then they were ended up being slides, and I pulled one out to see what it was, and I didn't recognize. It just looked like leaves or trees or something. But slides do have value to them. Some people look for them, and I think they're going to look for more of a World War One, World War II pictures. So don't always pass them up like I just did. You might want to look into them a little more. And the clothing was all Walmart brands and uh, cheaper brands. Most of them are really small sizes. Yeah, 
apparently I was looking at something on the side here. That was about the best pair right there, but I don't think it was a name brand. Then we got bored at the yard sales, so we decided to go to Goodwill. And it seemed like their shelves were pretty bare. I did not find hardly anything good here until the very, very end. See this little planter I did pick up for a dollar. I saw a lot of Cupid, uh, Victorian, Hollywood Regency type of planters and wall hangings. Games, games, puzzles. This dinosaur was cool, but I think he had a $20 price tag on him or something high. Electronics was so picked over. There was nothing hardly on these shelves worth looking at. And the toys were all newer toys, nothing old. And just little parts of toys and nothing hardly worth looking at. The games, I think there was one thing I was interested in and it was that. It was a star coaster. It was glow in the dark. I thought it was pretty cool, but I was worried there were, all the pieces weren't there. I had never seen this before, Math Facts. Flip charts. I passed that up though. More recent games. I just do not get into kids' toys unless they're vintage toys. And Barbie dolls, which is coming up. I glanced at them a little bit longer and they're all newer, bigger faced. They're, they weren't really Barbie. And I'm making you dizzy, and we went over to the stuffed animals. This was a pillow. It was interesting. <laughs> you don't see that design too often. But I let it there. Nothing worth pulling out. Skipped over to more hard goods. And there's no rhyme or reason at this Goodwill. That was a metal basket. This Pampered Chef. I was debating about it for get, doing spiral zucchini. But I wasn't sure if it would do it. And I don't even think it was in that box. This pan, I still question, it's called Globeware, as you can see on the handle. And it looked like a really nice quality pan, and it was vintage, and I questioned it and questioned it, and I ended up leaving it. Plastic. I think we're on the plastic row. And the Goodwill floor. And glassware. Lots of glassware. There always is plenty of glassware at Goodwill. And I ran across the St. Louis Art Museum mug. For 50 cents, I thought I'd pick that up. I thought the soup bowls were interesting. They were stackable, but they ended up being pretty dirty in the inside.
I was looking for Starbucks mugs. Wasn't finding a whole lot at, at the store. That looked vintage to me. I was looking at the statue of Mary back there. These little penguin salt, I think they were salt and pepper shakers, but they didn't have their little plugs. I kept going back and going back. I had to go back to that little Mary. There's no writing on it anywhere. This little bell was in the back and I had to pull it forward to see what what, what brand it was. I still can't make it out. Nothing, nothing. Everything seems like picked over and all the cheap stuff's left. There's, this had nothing in it. Party Light is not cheap when you buy it brand new. This was an interesting bottle. I considered it, but I nixed it real fast. I really like this backpack too. It looked like it was in pretty good shape. It looked like it had been washed a couple times. The Old Course Experience, St. Andrews. If you read it, it said quarantine days on it or something like that. I thought I should have probably picked that up because it's going to be a remembrance in years to come. That red bag was a Rachel Ray, which I've never run across that before, so I thought that was interesting. And her bags do sell for 15 to 20. I probably should have picked it up. I think that was a really nice uh, etching, possibly. That long, narrow piece right there was really nice done, too. Nothing much in the picture frames. Let's go down the right way. Now we're in the Christmas figurines. Let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed that you would have bought. This little snow or ghost is really adorable, and I looked at him a couple times. It's a tea light holder. I liked the glass um, ornament that was in that box. Hmm. See them red boxes? I probably should have looked in them. A lot of times them are the ornaments that have the painting on the inside of the ornament. That was a trinket box that opened up. So I had to bring you outside and show you what um, I got at the estate sale today. I had to bring these outside because the house literally stunk so bad that every item smelled just like it so we had to take it outside and I put it out in the sun I even had to open up this flashlight container just to get the smell out of the inside of it because it was inside of it as well opened up boxes there was this belt buckle 
this horse belt buckle was in this box. I had to open up the box just to air it out. I ended up getting the belt buckle for a dollar and I got all these car ornaments, not the batteries that was in the flashlight, and a couple lighters in here for five dollars, which was a pretty good deal. And I even brought this radio outside because it smelled. It's a weather radio and I got it for two dollars. And there's my Clorox wipes. I wiped it, everything down just to help try to get rid of the smell. I bleached them. Except for this, which is a Stetson hat. It's a really nice hat. It's a shame it smelled, but it's starting to smell a little bit better now. It's a size seven and a quarter. It says Stetson there on the bottom. Pretty nice. The cowboy shop in Belleville, Illinois. And it also has this little pin on it, which I'm not sure what that stands for. JBS. It looks like a little lasso, so I'll have to look that up. And then I also got these Nativity, it's a Nativity set, which is from Italy. I'm not sure if all the pieces are, but a couple of the pieces are. So I can always put pieces together if they, if I can find similar ones and complete a set. And the Nativity set and these three car ornaments I thought were pretty cute and a lot of car collectors out there, so figured I could sell them easily. But I got all of these for one dollar. So I spent a total of fifteen dollars at this estate sale, and now I'm airing it out, and we'll get them everything cleaned up real nice and get the smell out of everything, and we'll have them up for sale. Okay, since I didn't take video at all the yard sales, I'm just going to summarize everything that we got today, um, right now. So starting with this flight simulator joysticks for a computer game, which here is two computer games. And I paid $5 a piece for these two flight simulator um, sticks. And three dollars a piece for the games and I thought that was an awesome find of the day. I actually want to try them out myself. The lady said a pilot, her husband is a pilot and he used to play with them all the time before he became a pilot. So now he doesn't mess with it. He messes with the real things now. And we live near an Air Force base so there's a lot of army, or I'm sorry, military items and one of the things was this women's jacket from Gap and it is an extra large. It fits me perfect. I want to keep it but I'll probably end up selling it. And then this is a pair of gloves. Nice, nice, um, they're in nice shape. I paid a dollar for them. And then I ended up getting this art museum mug. I think you'll see that in one of the videos. It's from the St. Louis Art Museum. You don't see that very often, but I don't know how it'll go. We'll let you know. And I found my first pair of Sorel sandals. I was really excited about that. I found that at Goodwill. We ended up going there. And I think I paid four or five five dollars for it. And then this tulip lamp it is so cute. I paid five dollars for it. That should go well. And these Tom's shoes I got at a yard sale for $3. They're women's size 11. They're big. And then at Goodwill, I also found these Harley Davidson shoes. These Skechers. And this these cat, which is Caterpillar shoes, which I don't know that I've ever heard of them until I looked them up. And they sell for good money. So they were worth picking up. And I never have that much luck finding shoes at the Goodwills that I go to. So I was excited I found all these today. And then in this bag is Magnetics. Um, if you know what them are, they all just kids' toys. They, they stick them together um, and they are popular and they're expensive. So I paid $4 for this bag of them. And while we're talking about toys, I found this box of... Star Wars stuff. I can't remember what the name of this one is. 
but it's in excellent shape. She said she, she paid good money for it and gave it to her son for his birthday, and he hardly ever played with it, so it's in great shape. And it has some of the figurines with it in the bottom. I'm not sure this goes with it, but I'll have to look it up. But there's some of the figurines. And I think there's an R2-D2 in the spaceship. So I paid $10 for that. I think I should be able to get a return on that. And then at this one yard sale, this lady um, had a whole wall of free stuff. So I... I got these beads, these pictures. There's four pictures here. They're only they're cardboard, but they're vintage. They say 1979, I think, on them somewhere. And these are so cute. Maybe they don't have a date on them, but they're so cute. And these pencil Santas. They were all in the free box. And this is an Amelia Earhart doll and a Clara Barton doll. And these two ornaments were in the free box and these wooden beads. And then I forgot the little planter. I always pick up little Cupid planters. I've been selling a lot of that, that type of thing. I found that at Goodwill. And this Tommy Hilfiger jeans, they look vintage to me. The big flags is what sells so that's the only type of jeans I, I promised myself I was gonna pick up anymore because I've picked up Tommy Hilfiger jeans a lot of times and they're starting to sit in my store so this one has a big flag on it and I paid three dollars for it it does have a little bit of wear by the pocket here I hope that they sell we'll see and then going back to this this yard sale, this lady had a lot of good vintage stuff. You'll see the, the video for it. But this is all I left with, except for the free stuff. But I left with these greeting cards. They're so cute. They're, most of the ones in here are for get well soon, so that's not really a, a common card that I think people collect. So... We'll see how they go. It's my first time buying greeting cards like this, so um, they'll probably be they'll probably be all right. There's some really good ones in there, and then this DMC floss. I wish it was full of DMC floss, but it's a lot of trim, and I think um, it'll do well. I paid five dollars for both of these, so I think we'll do all right with them. And then this Mickey and Minnie and Donald Duck, these five Disney embroidered pieces. You could use them on, oh gosh, anything. If you wanted to make a pillow, if you wanted to put them on a purse. Um, they're very well done. I paid a dollar a piece for them, so five, I've got five dollars into them. I'll probably sell them as a grouping. I'll have to look them up and see if there's anything like it on eBay. And then I found this German... How to speak German, and it is cassettes. Eight cassettes. I want to keep it for myself. Even though I learned how to speak German in high school, I totally forgot. I know some words, but not a lot. So I may try to use it until I sell it. I also found these three or four shirts here. This is a Columbia shirt, a woman's. It's kind of like a sweatshirt, but quilted, and it's a size medium and brand new. And this Tommy Bahama, which I think is really nice. It's a sage color green, and I paid $5 for it. They had a couple more, but they had spots on them, so be careful for that. You got to keep an eye out for spots. And this cool jacket, K-U-H-L is um, a very nice quality brand and this this gentleman had it for five dollars and you really want to make sure everything looks good on it no stains the zippers work it's a it's a really nice jacket and behind this I got a spider jacket which 
I wanted a spider jacket myself for a while and they're expensive. They're like probably over a hundred dollars. We got the two toned sleeves here, or two material sleeves. Paid five dollars for this one and it's extra large. And then I also got a couple more items at one of the garage sales, which is behind here. These are Christian Dior belts. They are brand new and they're leather. And I I think she wanted $10 a piece for them, but she said if I buy them both, she would do them for $15. So I bought them for $7.50. And I got this Coach Wallet, which is really nice and still in pretty good shape. It just needs a little leather cleaner or it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. And I also got this Coach Purse, which was... It ended up being $5. I, I did a lot price for it. It is dirty on the inside, and that's kind of why I could talk her down. I do need to try cleaning it a little bit, and I'll have that up for sale. It was really, for, for it being white, it's really clean on the outside. So that is the extent of what I got at the yard sales and the estate sales this weekend. So, hope you enjoyed.